Hi everyone, welcome to African Gardening. Uh, today uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, this new variety of pomegranate that we are developing to introduce to, uh, to Nigeria. So uh, this pomegranate, it's been around for a very, very long time, that's a parent tree. I think it, that tree will have been maybe about uh, uh, almost 20 years. Uh, so uh, a few years ago, uh, we started uh, uh, air layering the branches to get seedlings. So what we're trying to do is to ensure that we have seedlings that have the same traits uh, as the uh, parent uh, tree. And we've been successful so far. So uh, I'm going to take you around and show you uh, different features of this pomegranate. It has a unique uh, shape, and uh, hopefully by the time we register it, we will call it uh, Elori Sweet. Elori is the town where uh, this pomegranate uh, was, uh, was grown. It's been there for about 20 years. I think some people from uh, the Far East brought the, uh, the fruit whereby they, the, the seeds were now planted, which gave birth to that parent tree. But right now, we found out that this pomegranate, it does very well uh, in Nigeria. It's of a good size uh, and it has a very good uh, uh, characteristics uh, and futures that will uh, even allow us to, to export it. But even for the domestic uh, market in Nigeria and within uh, other African uh, countries, especially West Africa, uh, it's very suitable. Uh, one of the uh, futures of this uh, pomegranate is the fact that it is nematode resistant. Uh, most of the soil in Nigeria, they have nematodes, and uh, for those that are not familiar with what nematodes are, nematodes are like worms, uh, who, uh, they, 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 they're, they're inside the soil, and they're extremely destructive. So this pomegranate variety is resistant to nematodes, uh, and it's of good size, like I said. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to uh, just uh, harvest some to see the different shapes and the sizes, and we we'll weigh so that you can, uh, if, you, if, if you're buying the seedling or you're getting the seedling, uh, you will know for sure the sizes of the pomegranates that uh, you will uh, expect. Once again, uh, just to let the viewers know, this pomegranates, all of them that are grown here, they have been grown through the method of uh, air layering. And what we're doing uh, is uh, clonal selection. That's the kind of plant breeding technique we're employing uh, to... Uh, commercialize uh, this pomegranate uh, in Nigeria. Uh, you might be curious, this ones behind me, they are not a Lillori suit. These are some varieties in Kenya, which I just brought just to check them out, but I've not been impressed. Uh, even though this one here, uh, it's a, it, it looks big and all that, but it's, it, it's, it was cross -poll it's, it's a result of a cross-pollination with the Lillori suit, with this uh, other variety. Uh, which I'm going to show you. So let's just go around. So this one now, this is the Elori uh, uh, Sweet uh, uh, variety. So I'm just going to go around and uh, show you. Uh, so you can see, so this is one of the trees here grown in the pots. Uh, this tree is about, is less than two years old. And uh, we've had uh, two, uh, 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 two fruiting uh, seasons. It's been fruiting in, within two seasons. That was uh, last year and this year. This year so far, We've already harvested about, let's say, about 30 fruits from this particular tree. And uh, right here, you still have about almost about 20-something fruits. And one good thing about this variety, it fruits all year round. So and it comes in nice colors and, 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 uh, and nice uh, shapes as well. The shape is a bit funny. It has a long stalk. Uh, most of the other pomegranates don't have that. Uh, one thing I noticed about this variety as well, if it's... In an area, you plant it in an area where the sun is reflecting on the fruits. The color of the fruits tend to be red, to deep red. But if it's an area where it's shaded from the sun, the fruits, if they're shaded from the sun, it becomes yellow. And of course, when it's ripe, you just look at it, it's either uh, red all over or yellow all over. So we're just going to uh, 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 take some and then we'll check all the different uh, sizes and we weigh them in. So, okay, this is right. So let me take this and we'll use this. All right. So I'm just going to put this one here. So we're going to come. Uh, I'm going to get three different sizes and then we're going to weigh them. Uh, let's go outside. There's a very, very, uh, there's a big size which we've seen. Just come around and show them. Okay, these are very young plants. These are young plants as well. 
All right. So I'm going to come here. Uh, just come and come and <laughs> bring the camera. I'm going to show them this one. So this one, can you see it? Yeah. It's extremely big. It's, uh, it's perhaps the biggest size to expect from this variety. It is big. It is big. So you can see it is big. So we're going to wait and then we'll see uh, the size. Uh, let me see again. I think there's another size I'd like to see here. Uh, let me see this one. All right. All right. So from this variety of pomegranate, these are the sizes you should expect. Of course, uh, there could be smaller sizes, uh, like a size like this one, but the average size is this, which is quite heavy, between this and this. Uh, yes, you get this one too, so this is quite heavy. So let's start from this size and focus on the, on the scale, please. So the scale dot is on zero. Make sure you're focusing on it. Is it focused? So focus on the scale. So it's on zero. So we're going to see the weight of this one. Whoa! So this is 400 grams. So that's 400 grams. Yep. Yeah, so that's 400 grams. So let's check the other size as well. That's the next one. Whoa, that's almost 500 grams. Uh, about 480 grams. In this. Then the jumbo. This is the jumbo, it's big. So let's check the weight. Wow, so this one is 700 grams exactly so you can see that that this variety is very good uh, if you're living in Nigeria you will know in the supermarkets pomegranates are quite expensive they're sold for 7,000 naira per kilogram so you can imagine now for this ones that about 500 grams is about 3,500 naira just for one uh, for this this 400 grams this would be like 3,200 and uh, for this one I think this will be almost about 5,000 naira. <laughs> so that's the reason why I encourage every one of us, plant a pomegranate tree in your house. Uh, in the other videos, I've talked about the health benefits of pomegranates. And I can tell you, for me, it's the fruit that has the most health benefits for human beings. All right, so now that we've weighed uh, the pomegranates and you've seen the size. So like I said, this is very good. This variety. Uh, which we will be uh, uh, commercializing in Nigeria. We have started, but uh, before the end of the year, we plan to have about uh, 5,000 seedlings that we're going to be selling uh, to everyone all over the country, and we have much more. Uh, it's a very good variety. It is very, very sweet. It's sweeter than most of the imported varieties, and as well, it is packed with lots and lots of fiber and uh, antioxidants. I'd like to encourage all of us to take uh, horticulture and agriculture seriously. So you can imagine that this thing, right, this pomegranate fruit in front of me, right, I mean, that I'm holding, this is how much? 3,500. Where's 500 grams? If you're producing locally in Nigeria everywhere, the price is going to come down and it, everybody will be able to buy it. And even at that, we can export it as well and make a, a foreign exchange. Yes, pomegranate, it's a very good product for uh, a fruit for export because of a long shelf life. Uh, you can keep it in a basket or on a table. Uh, you can store it with that refrigeration for like three weeks and it's still going to be like this. It's not going to get spoiled. If you put it in the fridge, it can stay about two months. All right? So I've washed it now. And uh, what I just want to do is to open it up so that for those that would like to see what the uh, seeds look like, uh, unfortunately, there's no way you can taste it, but then I'll describe the taste to you. All right. So this is how I cut the pomegranates. First of all, I use a knife, be careful. So I remove the stalk. All right. Then I remove the head. Let's remove the head. Okay, so what I do, once that is done, I now take it from here. I start here. And I go round, round. Don't cut too deep. Round. So that's it. Then I make another section. Okay. Okay, okay. I use a small bread knife, it's not too sharp. And the risk of cutting yourself is low. So that's it. Whoa, so that's it. All right, so you can see that. So that's the seeds inside. Uh, the seeds are called aerials, A-R-I-L-S. So, 
this variety, uh, it's pink. Yes, that's what I call it. It's a, it's a pinkish inside. And this is a hard seeded variety. Uh, pomegranates have soft seeded and hard seeded. The soft seeded variety, the seeds are quite soft. I prefer the hard seeded variety because it seems they contain more uh, fiber in the hard seeds than uh, the uh, other soft seeded variety. So let me just taste it. And, uh, mm. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. For those of us uh, who are wondering what it tastes like, it tastes like uh, uh, a non alcoholic wine, like uh, you have ever in Nigeria and Shamdo. That's what it tastes like. But like I said, it's a very, very healthy fruit, and I encourage every one of you plant a pomegranate tree uh, in your house. Uh, I'll encourage you. To buy our own seedlings. Why? Because our own seedlings, they are of a known variety. Uh, one of the problems with uh, pomegranates growing in Nigeria is because uh, people are just selling different kinds of uh, types of, uh, of trees and plants or seedlings that they don't know the source. They just say, okay, oh, it's pomegranate. There are even, I've seen ornamental pomegranates being sold to people. I think in one of the other videos, I'm going to show you the difference between the uh, ornamental variety of pomegranates that doesn't fruit, and uh, the normal uh, variety that uh, that fruits. So, if you buy from us, you're sure you're buying this variety, which we're uh, registering. The name we're going to give it, like I said earlier, is the Elori Sweet. So, the Elori Sweet will be uh, the pomegranate of choice uh, for uh, people that want to grow pomegranates uh, in the Nigeria. Let me have another taste. It's 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 very nice, very nice, very nice. Energizing, invigorating. Mm. I love the taste. And lastly, uh, seedlings from us, they start fruiting between six months to one year. Yes, why? Because they are clones, you know. Uh, any seedling of a pomegranate gotten through uh, uh, vegetative propagation, either by air layering or by cutting, they fruit much, much faster than uh, the seed grown varieties, I'm oh, sorry, than the seed grown seedling, which might take up to three years to start fruiting, producing fruits. And then if you grow a, a pomegranate by seed, more often than not, what you will get, the result will be totally different from uh, the parent tree. So the parent, uh, if, 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 if the fruit where you got the seed from uh, was large, you might end up with small uh, of, of, uh, fruits. I mean, this Kenyan variety was planted by seed. You can see the fruits are very small, very, very small, very, very small. You can compare the size to this uh, new variety that we, uh, we, we just uh, introduced uh, to Nigeria. So that's it. Uh, I think in one of the other videos, I'm going to be showing you the difference between the ornamental variety of pomegranates and uh, this uh, uh, variety. All right.